Hi guys, welcome back to Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. Today I'm going to be making my herb infused body balms using natural New Zealand plants and herbs. So I want to show you how to make them. Come along with me and let's get started. Squee! <laughs> So, the first thing to do for this project is to choose some herbs that you would like to infuse in some oil. I've chosen eucalyptus. It's a blue gum, a Sydney blue gum eucalyptus tree. And I've infused it in 100% olive oil. This is a upcycled container that I have cleaned thoroughly and then also sterilized. And this is the eucalyptus tree. So I pick the branches and let them hang for a couple of days, although in this case these leaves are pretty waxy and they don't really need to be dried as much as some other leaves. But I let them dry a bit and now I'm going to pick them all off and pop them in to a mortal and pestle and give them a crush to help release some of the yummy, gorgeous eucalyptus goodness. <laughs> So I was asked by Teach to make a video showing you how to make these herb infused body balms for her study hall and I went live and did it and not everybody's a member of the study hall so not everyone got to see it. So I was requested to make this video and show you all how to do it on my YouTube channel. So that's what I'm doing and I had to remake them so win win. So by crushing them it doesn't really look like I'm doing much and it doesn't seem through the camera like anything's happening but in the room you can really smell the eucalyptus coming out it really helps to pulverize them a bit before you infuse them you can sort of see the difference here between the leaf on the left that's been smashed up and the leaf on the right that hasn't so by doing that we're helping to just get all the goodness out and let it all come out into the oil and I like to let the oil infuse with the leaves for a good couple of weeks that way it gets really good and the leaves sort of seem to change as well as you can see here they go from being quite dry to being sort of quite wet and that's when you know it's really soaked up and the oil's been really well infused. <laughs> you must forgive me for my voice, I've been very sick and it's only just coming back. Now here we have the kawakawa leaves and the kawakawa balm is one that has been very popular I noticed when I made the first lot that I made for that video they sold very fast. Kawakawa is a plant that grows in New Zealand and it's also known as a pepper tree I think. It's the Maori pepper plant, I know that. And I also know that you can take those leaves and you can put them like in hot water and steep them to make a lovely tea that's actually very good for you as well. But in this case we soaked them, we dried them very thoroughly in the dehydrator and you don't have to use a dehydrator, you can just pop them into a warm space like a hot water cupboard and they will dry out over a couple of days. I actually found the hot water cupboard method a little bit better for me. It was much slower and it meant that the leaves kept some of their I guess you would say greenness whereas when I dried them in the dehydrator it really dried them out to almost sort of brown and they've also been soaking in 100% olive oil for about two weeks and now I'm adding natural New Zealand beeswax so basically all this recipe is is olive oil and beeswax and that's at 84% olive oil to 16% beeswax. That way you get quite a firm balm. It's good for high heat if, it, if you live in an area where it's really hot it won't be too runny but it's also a little bit less greasy on the skin. So I quite like that ratio. Feel free to use it if you would like to and like I say you can infuse any herbs that you like, anything at all from sort of mint to sage or rosemary. Oh the opportunities are endless. Couldn't help myself. You're too good to be true. I fall short each time. Anytime you ain't here. You and your child are closer. Like a 
like a bomb before explosion Chicken by your car child who belongs on her knees but I found a boy who I love more than I ever did you before so stand beside with your pride and let yourself down look how but I don't need you. <laughs> Little bit of singing there. <laughs> Hope that didn't get me demonetized. <laughs> so, like I was saying, the Ko Fi is definitely a native to New Zealand. And it is a really lovely tree with beautiful yellow flowers. But I didn't use the flowers, I actually used the leaves. And I have heated all of my olive oil and beeswax together till it got mostly melted. And then, as you could see, I stirred it and stirred out the beeswax. You don't want to have it too hot, especially if you're adding essential oils like I did. So I added a little bit of cedarwood essential oil to the Kawa Kawa balm. And I'll be adding a little bit of geranium oil to my Ko-Fi balm. And I'll be adding eucalyptus essential oil to my eucalyptus balm. I woke up this morning to find that you were not there. In my sleep you had gone. I got up, I looked out, and sure enough, without a doubt, through the miracle of editing you get to cut the wait time and see them set how lovely is that I really love these they are a great multi-purpose product you can use this balm obviously for extra dry skin which I think is also part of why they sold so well because we're having a very cold winter which is a natural flip side to the very hot summer that we just had and people are finding their skin getting really dry so this kind of product is a beautiful emollient type of moisturizer that's great on super dry skin 
and I also think it's great for your hair if you've got really frizzy hair it's great as a little bit just get a little bit and rub it in the very ends of your hair to tame frizz it's good for cuticle care it's great for massage it's just an all-round beautiful product it's good if you've got any kind of skin condition because it's so natural and it's just absolutely awesome it beats Vaseline hands down <laughs> not even a not even a competition not even the same game so here's the final product with its little label on and my labels aren't waterproof or anything like that they're, they're just paper labels so I just had to use a bit of tape to hold them on and I'm gonna have to work on that I'm gonna have to get me some waterproof style labels I think because the sellotape's a little bit <laughs> tacky looking but hey this is what the balm looks like as you can see it's kind of like the thickness of a lip balm maybe a little bit softer than a lip balm it glides on really well and absorbs quickly into the skin um, it's just wonderful I absolutely love it I can't sing its praises enough so I hope you guys give it a go <laughs> two thumbs up from me if you do give it a go then please come and join my group on Facebook called Star Soaps Family and share your creations with me I absolutely love to see it when you guys get inspired by me and make stuff and if you're not already and you'd like to be then hit that subscribe button and become a member of our Star Soaps Family here and you know feel the soapy love <laughs> okay Love you guys. Bye.